Okay, let's uh, turn the paper this direction. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to kind of layer out how I'm going to draw it. And uh, then we're going to kind of go in through it through steps, okay? Do this with me. Uh, I would encourage you to do it with me. If not, you can watch. Uh, and then do it like after. But let's get started, okay? First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to start going into the head first right here. So I'm going to go in here, lightly trace out the head with pencil here. Line over here for the arm. Line over here for the other side of the arm. He's going to be kind of doing this magic pose thing going on. going to go up, back, and kind of the wrist area. Line over here. Pull down, out over this area for the other arm. Pulling out. Thinking about the arms like tubes, that's incredibly important. So this is the underarm on this side. Curving that way, so his chest is going to be facing that way, the curve of his body. Line down over here. Curve for the bottom of that rib cage, and then pulling down here for the waist. Pulling up for the other wrist out over here. Cool, cool, cool. Hand over here, out over there. Hand over here, okay? So, so far, incredibly simple layout, right? You can hardly even see it. Forgive me if you can't really see it, but very, very simple layout, right? Super important to kind of keep it simple. Because the reason we want to keep it simple is that we don't want to overwhelm ourselves and you're building up, uh, you're slowly building up detail. I'm sharpening my pencil here. You're slowly building up detail. So let's go in here and pencil this guy in as soon as I'm done sharpening this pencil here. Okay. I'm going to go right here and find the center line to his head. Line over here for bottom of the chin. Eye line. Turn it like where the eyes line up. Downward here, out for the cheek, down to the chin. Line to the forehead. Line for the back of the head over here. Curve to the front slowly. You're carrying it through. Downward. Line right here on this side for kind of where the ear is going to be. The ear is going to be over here. Back of the jaw. Pulling down. So now we're finding the structure for this stuff. Down over here for the back of the neck. Back over here. Right? So back of neck over here. Shoulder. We're going to fill out that shoulder. Here's the deltoid right there, going down. Curl over here for the top of the pectoralis. Line out over here. Curve for this shoulder. So this one you can see more of the upper shoulder on this side. Down. Kind of finding that, that that where that deltoid ends. Curve over here, finding the bottom of that deltoid. Downward into the chest, pectoralis. Curve into the chest muscles. Line up, down. Curve over here. Out, down, over here for 
the the lats basically the lats is essentially you know the underarm muscle I mean it does a lot more than that but kind of the latissimus uh, the latissimus dorsi lats you kind of see that kind of, it's like a wing muscle when you kind of like do a certain uh, like you're spreading your arms like that you, you it really activates when you do like pull-ups and stuff like that pulling in because you can see the part of the rib cage and in right here in right here for the lower waist curve for kind of that belt line here right on let's go over here to this side of the arm underneath the lat area out curve for the bicep area it's kind of squeezed in there wrist out to the extensors over here out down going over here now to the uh, fingers finger area we're kind of more or less just handling those pretty easily the fingers there Out, up, over here, curve, uh, you know, again, finishing that deltoid right there. Let's go over here to this side now. Going to go over here to the bicep on this, this far end. See how things are slowly emerging? That's kind of the way you want to do everything slowly emerging uh, it's not always like that obviously when you get to something like Kim Jong Gi uh, when you get to certain artists like that right where they, they've been drawing for years and years and years and years and they don't need anything like that they can just kind of like jump right in but um, for most stuff that you're working out you want to do it this way you start with that framework and then slowly build up and that's kind of where you're getting a lot of um, you know a uh, lot of it's basically where you can draw anything because you're, you're slowly building it up through the systems and methods that we, you know, of drawing in general. Over here now, hand on the other side. Down, down. Line over here. It's kind of loosely putting in fingers there. All right, let's really handle his head because that that's going to be, uh, you know, we, we don't have to make it look exactly like the rock or nothing. But um, we are going to make him bald and we're going to give him a lot of attributes, you know. So right now I'm going in and I'm drawing in the eyebrows, right? We're just going to make him bald, that's it. We're just going to give him like a couple of attributes of the rock, but we're, we're more or less just going to make him like our own character here. Drawing in the eye right there. Eye over here. Outward a little bit here. Down. Nasal cavity right here on this side, the nose. Little nose right there. Curve. Giving him, yeah, it's kind of a, maybe a smile here. Downward, jaw on this side, line over here underneath, finding the side of this uh, mouth. So when I'm thinking of stuff here, I'm thinking about like the skull, right? I'm thinking about here so someone to look at his face right there he needs the neck underneath so right here we're gonna give him like the lines of 
Adam's apple a little bit. Line over here for the trapezius. And then his outfit is going to be ending over here. It's going to go straight across. Line over here. So his general body is coming together pretty well. And now you can always like step back and be like, okay, cool. What's next? What is, what's going on? I would say put a line over here across for his lightning bolt. Line out, line out, in, out over here, down, down, out over here, out over here, down like that. Got this kind of magical, goofy pose, which is funny. Let's give him a little bit of a furrowed brow here. Alrighty, let's kind of hop back in here, and we have most of the stuff in here. I would say his neck should be a little bit bigger because the rock is a uh, you know pretty big dude. Line over here. Line over here. Upward here. Kind of give him a little bit more eyebrow over here to kind of give him a, you know, more mean look. And then give him a little bit more sternocleidomastoid, which is a cord that goes from the back of your ear all the way down to the pit of your neck. If you want to know any of this stuff, just straight up go to the official website, which is sketchingeasy.com. Sketching um, You're going to see all of that there. All right, so let's get into the hands more. You're thinking the hands in blocks, right? Kind of like Legos. And the cool thing is you're always going to have your own hands for reference. I don't really understand why people have such a hard time with hands. Uh, because like, again, you can just kind of look at your own hands. You're like, okay, cool, like this angle. You can take a picture of your own hands in any position, you know, like with a mirror. I, I, I literally do not get why people are so, find that so hard. I really don't. If you just think it through, you can do anything, okay? And I want you to kind of keep that in your mind. If you think it through, you can do anything. If you think it through, because then you can plan it, sort it out, and you know, figure it out there. Go over here, curve the bottom here, maybe some squishiness, right? You want to think about the fat pads in the hand, um, right in the fingers. And if you really do want to, like, if you're real serious about that, go check out uh, the Skillshare and there's a lesson all about drawing hands on there that I did so absolutely go check that out go over here curve line over here up downward hands in the back there they're a little bit easier since you know they're kind of like a lot of it's hidden from by the palm uh, Got these bands over here, right here as well along this wrist, which I did not put. Um, and now what's gonna happen is, that's mostly done, honestly. I'm gonna go over it with ink, but we mostly got, you know, most of it in here, okay? Um, I, mean, I mean, part of it is you wanna, if you wanna make it look more like the rock, you can give it a little bit more folds, I guess, because I mean, he is a little bit older, right? He is, um, more stoic in the movie, but you know, he's a little bit older. So you can always kind of maybe throw some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Some features that are like him, but you don't really have to do that, honestly. It's just, I don't know. Like I said, this is good enough, guys. Good enough, all right? He's got like a kind of a fabric belt in a lot of these. All right, thank you so much. Uh, let's jump into the inking session, all right? But that's mostly the whole process. Let's do that, we'll come right back.